So I'm here with Zach Brown, member of the Lower Columbia Baseball Club, also a member of the uh, Wakaikum High School baseball team. And, and Zach, right off the bat, you know, you're out here this summer trying to improve your game because you're, you're already scheduled to or signed to play to Modesto Junior College next year. So what are you focusing on this summer to try and improve upon and, and really look at uh, getting better? Um, I really want to improve on hitting my spots pitching-wise and really work on my changeup this year, which I feel like Coach Johnson, that's his favorite pitch, so I feel like he's really going to help me on that. And uh, also hitting, try to keep my spots and stay good because last year I had a little bit of a slump year because uh, I broke my foot and I was out for the whole half of football season, the whole basketball season, the first two games of baseball season. So I was a little bit off of it, uh -huh. um, uh, especially during the summer and during high school ball, I was not that good. Hitting wise, I was mediocre at best. Yeah, and so I really, I really improved that this year during the Aussie. I really want to keep going forward because I'm going to uh, MJC as a two-way player. Still, they told me that would be more like a relief closer, mm -hmm. and then also play more short and third base. And then if anything happens, I just want to keep up my game on both the uh, both sides, defense and offensively, just in case if I go one way or not. Yeah, so. and actually, and, and like I said, you are going to Modesto Junior College, so kind of went, what went into the thought process of going down there and, and playing, uh, you know, in California? Well, I actually uh, was born in Modesto, oh. and I lived there for about five years, but um, my dad knows a pitching coach, and there wasn't that many offers going on, and I would be sending letters to everyone, mm -hmm. and so they called me down, had me do a workout, and they were impressed, and they wanted to had me come down there. The only thing that was holding me back was uh, financially because it would be really expensive out of state. Yeah. And then actually about a month ago, I found out that I got this one scholarship to pay for the tuition completely. Wow. And so that was a um, the go sign. And so I'm really excited about that too, especially with in California how um, competitive the league is. And I'm really excited too because uh, MJC gets a lot of guys going either D2, D1. I mean, mm -hmm. Automatically signing after, and so that's yeah. another reason why. And they're really big on pl uh, player development too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's great to have a program, especially junior college. For a lot of kids, is the best way to go. I mean, it's just awesome seeing guys you work your way up through. Um, but this season for high school ball, you did uh, earn the league MVP. Kind of, mm -hmm. what was your uh, your reaction to that? Kind of, you know, what are your thoughts on it? Um, I mean, I I just got to count that to uh, Coach Bear, Coach Meyer, Coach Rickledge. Um, the guys have really been helping me ever since freshman year. Uh, I made first team freshman, sophomore, and junior year. And then I really want to settle up my game my senior year since the last year going. Mm -hmm. I really felt like I did that. Um, and I wor worked with Coach Rickledge all throughout the winter. They helped me uh, pitch you and Coach Emeyer, especially in the fall, even during football and uh, basketball season. Uh -huh. He'd help me hit and uh, in the cages and really helped me uh, find my swing too. And I didn't hit any home runs this year, which I'm really surprised. Luke, my brother got me beat on that, even though I'd be hitting them all the time in practice. But I, I mean, I think I had like a 569 average or something like that, which was insane. And so I felt like the work that I put in really helped. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm not trying. I didn't want to gloat or anything like that, but I really felt like the amount of work that I put in, I felt like I really deserved that mm -hmm. award. So oh, awesome, definitely. And you talk about work ethic a little bit, and kind of who in in your life has been that kind of that pushing force behind you, that inspiration to uh, to be your best. Definitely, Coach Emar. I mean, he he, uh, especially during football practice. I mean, he expects he doesn't really care about if the performance that you do, but if you have the attitude and effort for it. And if the effort's not there, then you don't want to really want to get on his bad side because he's about a 6'4", just 265, just straight muscle kind of guy. And so you really don't want to mess with him, and you want to make sure that you're playing your A game for him, you know? Definitely. Guys who are a little, little big on size can be a little intimidating. So I'm um, also looking at, you know, a lot of players, they'll kind of look at major league players and kind of see um, certain styles, certain work ethics. Is there a player you've seen at the major league level that you say, you know what, I kind of want to be in that same mold as, as him? Um, honestly, I think a little bit more of a mix between Joe Panic and Brandon Ca Crawford from the Giants. I mean, I've always been a Giants fan growing up, and then especially when they got those two guys. I mean, I really look for like I really look at a uh, Brandon Crawford at short, but I also like Joe Panic because he's also a left-handed hitter mm -hmm. too. And so I kind of just uh, switch it up a little bit between the two and like try to mix in what I see because also Joe Panic's also middle infielder as well as a second baseman too. So. Yeah, in fact, Joe Panic was one of my first inter interviews ever that I did for my website. So, oh, really? yeah, he was a he's a really cool guy. Uh, last question I have for you: Looking at um, the younger generation, the kids in little league who are you know want to play at this level and on to college, what advice do you have for them? Um, just know that it's available. Like, 
especially small school like Wukaiakum, not many guys go to, ba especially growing up, baseball wasn't the big uh, program as it was. And it was going to be kind of hard coming in and getting a sign, especially going down to California. Um, just know that it's available, and if you put in the work, someone's going to find you. I mean, honestly, it, it, if you put in the work, you do the right things, uh, someone's going to find you, and you'll pick up a spot on the team. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thanks.